supposed to go finish shooting this other one. So, yeah, we got about five videos, bro. So, anyway, we're, we're, we're equipped to make sure that his fans is entertained and you guys see some good shit, bro. Oh, uh, dope, bro. And before you get up out of here, I want to ask you a question. Like, how did I know that um, King Lil J, he added the skit with the Charleston White, Charleston White speaking negative on him when he first got out of jail. Like, how did he feel about Charleston White? I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Me, me and Charleston White, we was, um, not, not, not me and Charleston White, but me and Jay about Charleston White, man, it, that, that shit was a long ass debate. I ain't gonna lie because I play chess. I don't play checkers, bro. Especially, especially when it comes down to like millions of dollars and thousands of dollars. You know, I think, I think Jay, hold on. Damn, damn, my brother. I think Jay was, um, wanted to get the fans what they want, bro. The same way that Charleston White wanted to get the fans what they want when he's, when he's, you know, talking his shit, he doing his thing. That's what Jay wants to do. Hey, bro, my side, G. Uh, I bet. So he he basically was giving the fans what he want, man. We want the suspense. We want the entertainment. Because guess, guess who that helps out? That helps out people like you. That helps out other content creators, the right. controversy. You feel what I'm saying? Like, we don't got no, no ill will against Charleston White. I really think Charleston White is, um, likes Little J. And I'm going to tell you why I think he really likes him and he really wants him to win. Because... Even after that shit that happened, he I haven't heard shit from him. He haven't he haven't even came at Jay. He haven't he haven't threw a party because he got locked up. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you know that shows a lot to me. And um, I think I think um I think he want Lil Jay to win, and um you know show the world that um you know this is how you do it. Like like he he is the face, bro. He is the face, bro. Like there will be no drill without ops. There will be no drill. These guys literally, bro, like, come on, man. I watched, I seen this shit with my eyes, bro. Like, I was sent back, because I was the oldest, bro, out of all of them, bro. I I, I ran across Duck before. I ran across uh, Billy before. Like, I didn't really had too much time with Billy. He was a cool dude. He, he always had that energy. Dex before, all that shit, man. And I was just sent back, and I was just like, they don't even, like, I don't think they even know where this shit finna go. You know, but they was real life in the trenches, real life, like putting their life on the line for y'all, bro. Well, I ain't gonna say for y'all because you know they got families and shit, but like they really was about their art, man. Right. Their art was like like for real. Like you can't make this shit up, bro. Money can't buy that shit, bro. Money can't bring Doug back. Money can't bring that that type of experience back. What's up, G? I'm doing this interview. You got a couple minutes? I don't. I don't All right, we going. You ready? I'm not going to work. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do the shit, G. My bad. My bad, bro. Hold on, gang. Yeah, back to uh, um, um, back what I was saying. Um, Man, like, it's an honor, bro. I ain't going to lie. It's, it was an honor. You know, when I sit back now and, and seen what happened to Duck, and I seen like I had a I, I seen how Lil J was literally like big homie and butter and big homie and um famous Dex and shit like that. Like when I sit back and watch that shit, I'm like, man, bro, these niggas was real young. Man, bro, like it's man, bro. They got it, yeah, bro. Man, unfortunate, got unfortunate it, bro. situation. You're right. They got is it, bro. Any, is there any message that King Lil J want to leave his fans with, like he spoke to you, like let the fans know this. Is it anything you want to tell them? Yeah, I spoke to him today, man. You know, unfortunately, the dialogue is pretty limited because he's basically, as of this moment, one phone call a week for five minutes. So we're trying our best to communicate effectively. Um, but one thing that he want to tell his fans is, it's not over. We are just getting started. And if you love drill, you're going to support this shit. I don't give a fuck if you own the other side or not. This shit is... What Jay represents is drill. Is It's drill for real, for real. These guys went against multi-million industries, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. Like, I got people, like, I got engineer folks. I remember before Jay was coming out because I got, I got certain industry ties, too. And... One of my one of my um one of my boys, he's an engineer. Uh he's a white guy, older white guy, man. Shout out to my boy Tim. He was, I was telling him about Jay. I said, hey man, see so you get some plugs and get some connects for me. 
man, he called me back and say, hey, man, look, bro. He talked to his people. They say, stay away from him. Stay away from him. And I was more like, what the fuck? But it was just showing me how much influences, how much the influence the people against him have. 